This is the B of Goodrich Tires 24 Hellback Trail Challenge, presented by HP Tuners. Brought to you by Flex Rocks and Rollovers. Welcome everybody to the 2021 24 Helen Back Challenge presented by B of Goodrich Tires and HP Tuners. For the first time ever, we're on the West Coast. Erlenbeck has always taken place on the East Coast and in the Midwest. This time we're in gnarly Arizona rock crawling territory. As always, we wheel for 24 hours straight. That's the whole point. We act as a group and help each other out. We're bringing back the pink helmet. For those that don't know, those little guys here, you will have to wear it as soon as you mess up in any kind of way. If you have to winch, if you run out of gas, if you have to work on your vehicle, any of those things will get you a pink helmet. All right, guys, cat's out of the bag. You guys are in for a big one. Um, <laughs> things I want to note on, we do have rattlesnakes, we have scorpions, we have centipedes, we have every bush, cactus, any foliage, any rock is sharp and it's going to try to hurt you. So just be aware, stay away from anything that looks cool because it's going to try to get you. Yeah, I would say let's go to hell and go <laughs> wheeling. These full guys, full width guys, if they're gonna lose a windshield or they're gonna get some body damage if they're not careful. Mass is a problem in Arizona, everything's tight. Three, two, one. So we're not even five minutes into the first trail and I just got a radio from Walter saying that Andrew broke down literally right on the entrance so i'm gonna walk my butt up there and see what's going on first failure of the day first pink helmet of the day mr andrew bailey what's happening um i have an o-ring fitting that goes to my brake booster and like we were smelling smoke and i'm like there's no way that's leaking it was leaking again the okay. thing i fixed last night we'll see tom was like let me just run right back and grab the yeah, teflon I mean, tape how far or... away from camp are we andrew marvin legitimately <laughs> Four seconds. But four seconds in. <laughs> this is a scenario that should not be happening right yeah, now. Yeah, take the GoPro and show us really okay. quick what's happening here. So Tom's already over here from Texas Complete Off-Road with our repair kit. And uh, he's putting a little pipe dope on here, which it should not even need it. It's a uh, o-ring fitting, which is kind of crazy. So we'll have you back on the trail. Yes. It was smoking me out, dude. And I'm like, uh, we shut it off as fast as possible for two crippled dudes, man. We like got out of this thing so fast. <laughs> we unbelted. <laughs> like I blinked and they were out. What did they hop out? What happened? Yeah. When you see smoke, man, that's not a good thing. Like get to the fire extinguisher, be smart. It's hot here. And I don't want my new buggy to burn down. So. I don't think I underpromised when I said this is going to be one of the gnarliest trails out here. I'm standing in front of a what, nine foot? I'm I'm six three, so I'm going to be the guinea pig, the first full body rig to make it down this, and yeah, we'll see where we end up. In order to enter this trail system, the group has to make it down the toughest trail this area has to offer. Full bodied, non rear steer vehicles have no business being on this trail, and going down it will be a huge challenge for everyone. Our trail guide Bronson is deeply concerned if everyone will make it down this trail. I mean, you just kind of got to be ready to hit the gas. I mean, you almost forget to hit it because it feels like you're going over and you just almost want to accept it. But uh, once, once you're going down, you got to be ready to give it that thump to put your butt back down. And anybody with a short wheelbase, you better be real throttle happy to get that butt down because they like to sling over quicker. Yeah, we need to be really careful for everybody, all the camera team down there because once your front tires hit, you're either gonna have to floor to not roll over or you're rolling over. And either way, you gotta, we gotta have this area clear and make sure nobody gets run over. Putting a re-anchor rope on my 
rear bumper just to prevent me from going all the way over, just to be safe. First rail of the day. Is this pink helmet worthy? No, not yet. No, this is just the support. I haven't messed up yet. This is just taking precau safety precautions. John, what do you think about this? Just another day in paradise. Walk in the park, man. This is another day in the life of a uh, Ultra Four car. Holly's up here, you want to pull him back? Pull him this way. No. No. All right, Holly, you ready? I got my foot on the brake. I'm not going to send you anywhere, you're all right. What's going on? Well, we're gonna put the plugs back in. Everything's fine. There's no oil coming out, so that's that's good news. Oh, it just—it was like it, time stopped. It just stood straight up, and then it looked like he was gonna be able to drive it out, and it was just a hesitation in the engine, and it just went all over. Yeah. So, but everybody walked away. Everybody's good. Looks like we're getting ready to get it started up here in a minute. Yep. I mean, I'm glad it's in a harness and had a helmet on, but. Yeah, it was, I mean, there's nothing you could do. I could try to gas, it wouldn't happen, so it is what it is. That's one of the best parts about this is being able to see the teamwork it takes in the rock crawl to make sure everyone's okay and getting off the trail. I mean, this is like an unsung thing that no one gets to see is like when someone goes and gets in a situation like this, we've got everybody on this trail, hands on deck, trying to make sure that this rig is gonna get off the trail, that everybody's okay, pulled the plugs, made sure everything's clear, and we're gonna get this thing back and rolling here in just a few minutes, so. While half of the group is helping Andrew get his buggy back up and running, the other half is continuing their way down the trail. They still have 22 hours ahead of them. I feel like this guy is going to drop way first. He's going to do this. This one's going to drop first. Big this time, gonna, big time. This land first and it's going to throw your back over. This, this is way, way deeper than this. Okay. So just kind of keep it like that and I'm watching your fender nice and slow. Yeah. 
felt a lot sketchier than that last one. Unpredictable because you have, like the last one was just straight down, you either have it or you don't. This one was a lot more driving and like trying to get around a tight turn and not knowing when your tire is gonna drop. So there was a lot of uncertainty about going down this. So as we go down this obstacle, we're gonna use this ravine to basically hold that passenger side as a guide for us, not only going down, but for traction. When we hit the bottom of that tier on the rock, we're gonna pitch it driver to set us up for the second one back to back. Listen to everybody taking this obstacle to court. I just wanna drive down it. <laughs> <laughs> John Patrick is a true daredevil at heart. He has absolutely zero fear. He knows his rig and no obstacle is too big for him. Out here, we call him the Hellraiser. Now that the path is clear for the rest of the group, and Andrew's buggy is back up and running, Tim Cromer drives his buggy down the rest of the trail while Andrew is recovering. I'm gonna opt for the rope, and uh, I'm gonna feel real good about it, because yeah. it's early in the night, and I just don't feel like playing those kind of okay. games yet. Keith, are you opting for the rope or out? Huh. Uh, my front bumper is gonna dig down on the bottom. Unfortunately, I don't have the wheelbase and the front tires far enough forward. So when I come, if I'm about right here, I'm okay. But here, it's if it digs down, I have nothing to- And that is, uh, that is a here. Yeah. yeah. Well, How much time do we have left? 20 hours and 22 minutes. Let's Done. get through this one and let's go push the limit somewhere else. Sounds good, let's get it. All right. We're the last of uh, the 10 in the group. Eight of them used the rope, two of them didn't, one put on its lid. You're opting for the rope or not? Uh... Well, 50-50 is pretty good odds, right? That's great odds. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go uh, no rope and hope for the best. So Josh is not gonna have a strap on him. He's pretty short, so this will be interesting to see. Whoa, whoa, slow as you can go. As slow as you can go. That's it. Straight your tires just a little bit. How did that feel, man? <laughs> that was sick. That was crazy. <laughs> that was so stuck. Good as driving. Soon as, hit, as soon as it hit, I was like, oh no! <laughs> please go, please go. <laughs> What's the wheelbase on this thing? Uh, 113. Okay. Yeah. Good job, man. Oh, thanks. Good driving. 
my fear of having a tire on this big boulder is is that that will take get you in a really really crazy and on this side it's straight down yeah so exactly come here don't get on this side of this peak come here and slide down this way it'll put you right there yeah this episode is sponsored by ironkingparts.com your number one source for used and rebuilt heavy equipment parts they ship worldwide and have the largest selection of takeoff caterpillar parts in america check them out at ironkingparts.com All I, I couldn't see anything in front of me. All I saw was the wide open landscape and death. That's literally all I saw. There was absolutely, I didn't see a single rock. All I saw was fingers and death. And I had to trust the fingers to not die. So it worked. It's all downhill from here. All downhill from here. Of course it always was, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> this is a gnarly little stretch, man. It's, uh, it's strategic, it's technical. Uh, you got to get on the right rocks. There's big holes that swallow you up. So, you know, we're just going to just work our way down it. Just yeah, This is a uh, rear steer country. And, this is uh, rear steer country and it's not a Jeep trail. We're not afraid. <laughs> Recommended. I've seen like four people's lives flash before their eyes, and we're only like four or five hours in. Clearing the way for everyone else. Wow. Man, I was thinking there would be a nice strong tree there, but I went right in between them, didn't I? John, tell me what happened just now. Well, I don't know. It felt pretty good and, um, until it wasn't. It looked like you already made it down. Was there anything you needed to fix from the other side? You could do that now. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm redoing it again. Glad you had it on. What were you thinking at the top when you were about to. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, this ain't good? Yeah. Hold me, yeah. love me, never let me go. <laughs> I'm good though. Well, oh man, he's up there scared the crap yeah. out of me. I'm up there too. I went and I made a blitz to go get that dang thing because it looked like it was going to go. But that, on that one, that bad. felt scary. That one's bad. You're yeah. landing on jagged stuff. I mean, luckily, you know, a soft tree. That big rock up there in the angle, yes. that rear tire would not slide down. It gripped. It just wouldn't let go, man. So our it line rode the whole way. Our line didn't work. No, that yeah. was no good. Bad plan. Bad plan. <laughs> go do the other way. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
Tecton is the official tool brand of the 24 Hellenbach Trail Challenge. They are dedicated to making the best hand tools you'll ever own. Get yours at Tecton.com. Gotten off of uh, the last descent obstacle of the first section of this trail. Yeah. And let me tell you, it is not for the faint of hearts. We've had two rollovers before us, and it's it's intense. This is not a, uh, this is not easy. And I'm sure people will look at this at home and say, my JK can do that, my rig can do that. And there will be people on this trail that will tell you different. That was a safe ride. You cleaning the dirt off the line? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was a little sketchy. So uh, the brakes aren't uh, brakes aren't the absolute best on this thing right here, and uh, it's trying to push it with it all the way to the floor. Um, but we're making it. That was a cool front dig right there. There you go. You might want to stand here because I'm not going to be able to see you. Okay. Absolutely awesome. Super, super cool to see this. Everybody's freaking out way too much, aren't way they? Way too much. Yeah. Like my rig is super stable, <laughs> and I ride and this thing all right. the time. It's We're like a piece of me. No, she's hitting her bumper enough where it's not gonna go. Hey, but if you do one more little one, she'll clear it. Let's do one more reset and then she'll get her butt over. Gotta feel good about that. <laughs> Hard, hard driving. There you go. Try to dig it. Can you 
front kick just a little. Driver, driver. Slow, slow. Slow down. Just like that. I'm in low, low. <laughs> slow down. Not much slower I can I, go. I think I can do it like a quarter of a mile an hour, really. <laughs> okay, keep coming forward. Is he good over there? Great. So that's the last gnarly section and then we're out of this. This is the worst one from this whole thing. So really? like, yeah. Just as the, like on sketchiness, not on technical, like everything else is going to go up and going to be technical and difficult, but, yeah, but from sketchy, sketchy, wise, sketchy wise this is I mean, I think we've had a fair amount of sketchiness on the trail. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it's awesome and everyone's okay. So yeah. that's the main thing. Absolutely. team up there freaking killed it <laughs> John with the spotting he just like was like hey drive go all right I'll go so yeah close one yeah made for good video though right made for great video <laughs> You want to see what matches my scout? Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> and if you turn the lights off, it glows. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, so this is some behind the scenes on the uh, media team. Uh, we don't really typically show this, but we've never had anything like this before. We're able to charge our batteries, charge big batteries for our lights uh, to give you guys lights to be able to make sure you guys can see everything. Um, and then we've got, I mean, I don't know, bring the camera in here and just, I mean, we've got power strip upon power strips on our batteries for our, our cameras. Um, this is a brand new Bronco um, and it couldn't be any more sick. I have the luck to dump all the footage. So we're putting it from the camera card into the laptop and from the laptop onto the hard drive. That's the fastest thing that we can do out here in the middle of nowhere. So shout out to Keith and Texas Complete Truck Center. Without them, we wouldn't even have anything like this to make it possible. It turns out that Josh's BF Goodrich tire survived, but the wheel was too damaged. So Polly stepped up and gave Josh her spare tire so he can continue. What goes down must come up. Now that everyone has made it down to the bottom, one way or another, the group continues into the night stage. The following trail is also not for the faint of heart. It starts the same way it ends, with a massive waterfall. Andrew and John's Rick both had mechanical and electrical issues that couldn't be fixed on the spot. So they decided to leave their rigs behind and continue as passengers. All right, we're here at like pretty much the commit obstacles out here on going up. This is a big throttle, you know, give it everything you have and you got to stay in it to get up it. The rest of it's kind of waterfalls. There's another committer at the end. And uh, for anyone who wants to shoot, it's going to be pretty fun. It's the most East Coast thing we have in Arizona. Pass the torch. All right, all right, all right. Short lived. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. How are you feeling? Uh, uh, excited. Excited. It's showtime.
too much throttle in the beginning because I was told to hit the throttle and I'm all about that. You gotta kind of finesse it. Now if I could do it again, I would I would finesse it and I think I could walk it. Ooh boy, that'll get you going. We're just getting started guys. <laughs> Who's next, right? I say bring that 2021 Bronco up here. That's what I'm talking about. How you feeling? You ready for this? I was born for this. Like, we're just gonna let it eat, boys. The night is young. The night is young for success. Flexing, rocking. Well, let's hopefully there's no more rolling. Yeah, we had the roll. We had the rolling, so let's do the check marks on the flexing and the rocking. Awesome. <laughs> Heated up the front tires, got them nice and hot and sticky. And man, this thing just, it, it loves climbs. It's so, it's got a really low center of gravity, uh, long wheelbase, so muddy, large, uphill, steep waterfalls. This thing just does flawlessly. It's awesome. Oh yeah, hold on. Here's one way to get this out. Don't, don't mess with it. I don't know, move. Let me move. show you guys how, that's a, called a awesome choya, man. How you do it. Yep. Nice. It's the cleanest way to do we, it. We don't comb our hair with this shit. We all come out here, we know anything can happen. All right, Holly. So you just opted to just go ahead and winch this obstacle? Yeah, I'm gonna winch this obstacle. I'll tell you why. This Jeep has gone through a lot this year. So instead of getting in a sticky situation, I'm gonna finish the 24 hour hell of back this time. Cause that's the goal. I'll winch this one. No shame okay. in my game. Give me the pink helmet. We had a couple of people fall out on the first one, so uh, it left an open spot, and uh, honestly, I kind of got bored of not driving, so I was ready to get out and get some tires dirty. Shoot it, Tim. <laughs> 30 seconds of fame with the pink helmet, so there you go. <gasps> yes, good job. It's been over a year, so. I know. I don't, I don't even know what to put on here. I'm just joking. Okay. <laughs> draw, draw your logo really quick. Oh, sure. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, no. I wore the pink helmet. Your turn. <laughs> oh, my first obstacle, my first pink helmet. Oh, my God. <laughs> We should have brought 10 pink helmets. So that's how we collect signatures on the helmet. That wasn't long. No. All yours. Glad it comes in my color. Good try though. Put me in, coach. I'm ready. <laughs> so, are you gonna get the pink helmet again, or what? Nope. No, you're I'm gonna done. make it. I'm done for the night. He's gonna give it. So, it, yeah, no winch. Bumped it almost from the bottom, 
and <laughs> that was pretty much it. Everybody wants to give it the bump right at the end, and I started about right here and just gave it everything it had, and it was a rough ride and bounced up and about three quarters of the way up, it stalled again, and then the tires just grabbed and pulled me up. It was sweet. Awesome. That was sick. I'm stoked. <laughs> <laughs> I give it one fair shot and then we pull. We still got ten and a half hours, so yeah. Don't want to break. Let's just, let's just see what goes. This episode is sponsored by IronKingParts.com, your number one source for used and rebuilt heavy equipment parts. They ship worldwide and have the largest selection of takeoff Caterpillar parts in America. Check them out at IronKingParts.com. Justin's like, what if he needs a winch? I'm like, oh, and I rear steered my way out. was flat to the pedal and it moved sometimes and it didn't move others but we got up there so it's no problem
I don't know, all of a sudden the car's on the side. That's not how I found it. No, I just took that angle on purpose. I knew that it would get kind of a little laid over, but I just overdid it, that's all. I really wanted to hug that rock all the way. That's the way to go up there. And I just went out too far. What or time? went in too far, actually. What time is it? 2.20. Nine hours left. Well, you got plenty of time to do better. <laughs> Tecton is the official tool brand of the 24 Hellenbach Trail Challenge. They are dedicated to making the best hand tools you'll ever own. Get yours at tecton.com. That is really funny. Axel, what are you doing? I put that Why thing on it? just oh. because I thought... And you just hit it that right now, it, right it, on it. Hit it exactly. Man, you do careful it's planning, funny. don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs>
is 3.09 a.m. We are just getting done recovering Axel from the third rollover of this expedition so far. Fatigue is setting in. Driver sleep deprivation is setting in. The field is getting hungry and it may be come down to eating a passenger. Who's the first passenger getting eaten? Um, probably the weakest link, so probably the skinniest person here. Okay. Triple J. No, you need me. You need me, bro. He said you need him. Uh, to eat him, maybe. Oh. No. Be He's got a point. Are you doing thing. good? Oh, I'm great, dude. Oh no, I think have you done this before? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, I've done. The other guys haven't. And they were yeah, kind I've of done, slowing I've down a little bit. No, uh, this is this is our lifestyle out here in the desert, man. Yeah. We come out and we're like, yeah, we'll come out like right an hour before the sun comes down, and we'll be home by like twelve, and then somebody breaks. Forest then... comes off the upper deck, blows out, and it's like, cool. I mean, it's so bad that I know where Orion's belt. Yeah, the I'll go on that trail areas. that way. I haven't ever had a night on this one, but you can see it perfectly an hour before the sun comes up. I mean, it's so beautiful. How are you doing? I'm great. Yeah? Yeah. We're here doing things and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Flexing and rocking and rolling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, you're going to line up to this thing. You're going to hug the wall. You're gonna give it the shake and bake, give it everything you got. It's gonna throw you around like a ping pong ball. Robert up there? And uh, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be a good time. You got that? Ping uh, pong ball. Shake and bake. Yeah. Shake, shake and bake. Shake, what is it? Shake and bake? I've been sitting here looking yeah, at this thing, I'm getting fired up. Yeah. I'm all, I'm all weird, hopped up weird on stuff. Mountain Dew. Depends <laughs> on the definition of weird. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> Just like that, guys. <laughs> Just like that. So you basically made that look uh, very easy. What do you think about the others? Depends on how hard they want to hit the skinny pedal. Set the standard for the full body rigs. You're just gonna do the same thing he did well, without we'll the V8. I'm, I'm gonna try crawl it first, I'll and then if that doesn't work, I'll give it a little, a little momentum. Okay. If that doesn't work, I'll winch up. Oh, you can't winch up. Yes, I can. I mean, you can. What? I got my little three six in here. Maybe he don't want to go up there. Okay. What was the secret? You made it look pretty easy, man. Just gave it the beans, man. I didn't like. I, I was so hesitant on that very first waterfall, which I mean, I ended up not making. But I was like, okay, I'm gonna give this the beans right off the gate, and it worked out. Just the juice. Send it to the moon.
wife happy, I'll buckle up. Yeah, good idea. to the floor wide open until we see God we're gonna fly Shaking and bacon, and then boom. Hey, where's the helmet? Seven twenty-six a.m. I'm spent. I'm spent too. That was a long night. Like we're pretty used to being sleep deprived with like the builds and like new products and stuff that we do because we're just like always on the go. But it's a whole different atmosphere, 24 hours on the trail, getting rigs flopped back over, fixing rigs. It's, it's, it's crazy. But you know what? We're doing it. And we only got a few hours to go. One last trail is ahead of us, starting off with a really nasty V-notch followed by a couple of pretty cool climbs. So let's see how long it takes us to get through. If we finish in time, if we do it longer, we will see. But uh, yeah, 24 hours is three hours away. Yeah. 
That is uh, pretty intense. I uh, cheated a lot. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. I'm gonna want to go back and see how everybody else does it in the drag axles. <laughs> and uh, be glad that I have rear steer right now. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> you guys did good. Thanks. You're coming a little driver. There you go. Straight down, straight down. Straight up, straight up. Officially the biggest rig Bronson has ever seen go through this with no failure, zero, completely stayed on my line even after I don't know how many hours of wheeling and being super tired. Uh, damn, I didn't expect that. I thought I was kind of expecting some catastrophic failure and me being stuck in a V-notch and scraping my whole body over th through the side. That was kind of like, I was kind of picturing that in my head, but it worked out, hell yeah. at the left side but the right side almost bit you yeah yeah i was like oh 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 yeah. oh you you like slid into it and then like just like i did it popped right back up like yeah perfect uh, perfect width that's a big v-notch that's why i wanted to do this during daylight yeah <laughs> yeah we're here at the last couple of hours this v-notch seems to be pretty substantial so we got some work to do
up. I was super, super tired, like falling asleep at the trail head. So it took me a second to get up, but Walter and I work with this rig all the time and we just know this wheelbase. So sometimes when I get in sticky situations, he can get me started and then... Yeah, Walter definitely up. got you uh, up the gatekeeper. He did, that he was... did indeed, so... The trail guide told Marvin when he came up that he was officially the biggest rig that he had seen come up this. Oh yeah. So now you are officially the biggest rig that has come yes, up. Yes, mischief maker, the <laughs> biggest rig. No, that's awesome. Don't tell Marvin though. I he won't. Was, he, he was living it up. It's been interesting. This is a, a doozy of a gatekeeper for the last uh, trail. It's like the finale. This car that we built here at Fly Off Road doesn't really have like the finesse. So it's either like zero percent or a hundred percent that's a race car right i mean what do you do so we're gonna try to find like the middle don't know if we're going to but we're gonna try Everything that this car is built for, to be running on its side, to be fully flexed out, to be in the worst possible like predicament in an obstacle that you can think of, and with a little bit of help, a little bit of you know maneuvering some things, and being able to drive out of it. And I mean that's that's what we build these things for. This this 24-hour Helen back has literally been on point every hour on the hour. It's insane. Man, it's been, <laughs> it's been a grueling night. It, it almost seems like it was four days last night and uh, not seeing, you know, I think not seeing a lot of things actually probably helped us uh, get through, uh, especially since what we went through during daylight before that but uh man what a hell of an experience you know left. says we have officially three hours of this process left and uh from there i i think i'm in uh, zone two now of the zombie mode and i'm not even sure if i'll be able to sleep because i'm still going but uh huh, hey man i'm gonna sleepwalk it through this thing
Thanks. Yeah, that's a tough little spot right there. Oh man, there. it was really. I was, you gotta, oh, you gotta get in it. I was like, I'm in this for too long to freaking pull the line out. I hit it, and I was like, okay, this is where we're gonna blow everything up. And drag Mark been out the rest of the trail, or he's going to fly up it. And I've never what? seen someone walk right up it. it Fucking work. Twenty-four hours are almost over. We got thirty more minutes to go. The top that we just climbed, the very end of this trail, we had three rigs left, but they have to catch flights. So we made a group decision to turn them all around on top and come this whole thing back down and make it out in time within our twenty-four hour time limit. We're probably going to stretch it a little bit either way, but uh, yeah, that's going to be the official uh, final obstacle for the 2021 Helen Back Challenge. Well, I ain't ever quit nothing in my life, but uh, the hell is pretty good name for it you know uh, once you get your second win it's, it's not that bad but honestly you're just your mind is just contrary to the next obstacle you just you can't rest you, you can't even stop to think uh, so it, it actually works out pretty good it was definitely uh, I'd do it again that's for damn sure but uh, it was uh, quite the experience this was our first Helen back experience here in Arizona and this is wild to say the least I, to say the least, like, well, flex rocks and rollovers put together was yeah, unbelievable. I'm still trying to process the, the things that we had to do. Yeah, and made a lot of good friendships. My best moment was, you know, I got to spot Marvin up some crazy cool trails and had a lot of fun. And, you know, I'll be honest with you, this is about camaraderie and the people that we're here with are like-minded people people i love to see and i you know i like to be around and spend my time with so it was cool um it was great I had a really good time um you know would i do it again yeah do i want to do that again no you know i was a little peer pressured and i made a bad call i knew better than to do that so that's on me but you know next time i'll use the noggin it is literally hell and back everybody's fine nobody's hurt Thank goodness for axle helmets. I had the axle helmets on. You know, I still went out and rode with uh, Tim and BFG as part of the trail last night until he broke. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, I would have loved to just kept wheeling the whole thing. Another 24 hour hell and back done, except this one was actually completed. So very excited and happy about that. Um, my expectations going in was I didn't really have any, never really wheeled in this terrain. Wow. Um, this was some of the roughest wheeling I've done um, and you guys know I've kind of wheeled all over the place including Johnson Valley so it kind of has that vibe here except it's a little harsher to be honest with you would I do a 24 hour hell and back again the answer is yes always yes it's always somewhere different there's always different people there it's always a different experience and the trains are never the same so um, absolutely would do one again. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank the sponsors that made this possible. That was amazing. The staff, you guys, the camera people, uh, Marvin and his crew, and the trail guides. Uh, big, big thank you to all of them for, for getting us out here. That was awesome. There was quite a few uh, scares in this trip, and I would say a lot of rewards for some good driving and some really technical driving. So it was really neat to see how all the different, different vehicles and um, equipment performed out here. 
I knew the rocks and stuff bite in Arizona. That's what I've always heard about the wheelie here. Do anything wrong or step the wrong way or tire slips, they are, they want to mess you up. So it was pretty much what I thought it would be and it was amazing. Uh, I love wheeling. It was pretty cool. Like last night uh, we we're wheeling and I'm used to thinking, oh, I got to get home. And I was like, I get to stay up all night doing the thing that I love. So I was actually pretty thrilled to be able to wheel all night and like on purpose and not have anywhere to go. I it was it was perfect. If you guys have watched the 2020 24 Highland back in Oklahoma at Rugged Mountain Ranch, that we all considered the hardest wheeling we've ever done and I had to top this somehow. I wanted to top this somehow because the name 24 Highland back challenge has to stand for the hardest, most technical, most extreme off-road challenge in the United States. Camaraderie, camaraderie was absolutely top-notch from minute one on. Like it didn't take, you know, 10 plus hours for people to bond. It was within the first 15 minutes. Everybody was helping each other out, putting winch ropes on vehicles, you know, keeping uh, uh, rolling vehicles off, off rocks in order to prevent body damage and whatnot. So that was definitely my, my favorite part. Plus, of course, the trails. I mean, the kind of stuff that we did. I mean, my adrenaline was through the roof, like pretty much any minute of this of those 24 hours. Oh, you're in. Woo! And we're done. Yeah! 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 Woo! -hoo! Hell back yeah! over. 24 hours. <laughs> Woo! I think we can all agree that this was some of the hardest wheeling we've ever done. Can we agree on that? Okay, so uh, yeah, that's a wrap guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. And yeah, I see you guys next year. Holy! That broke. Uh, he just jumped his double jump and gave us no warning. That's it! <laughs> Get it? No, I didn't know what was happening. Oh, oh my goodness. Whoa! So right about there is where he should be landing and a broken. Look at that tire. with the BF Goodrich Tires 24 Hellback Trail Challenge presented by HP Tuners brought to you by Flex Rocks and Rollovers